Breaking news into first take. USC freshman guard Ronnie James will enter the 2024 NBA draft while maintaining his college eligibility and will also enter the transfer portal. He said Friday, as in today, on Instagram. James had been expected to have a major impact on USC after earning McDonald's All-American honors in high school, but a July cardiac arrest episode and a procedure to treat a congenital heart defect sidelined him for five months and severely impacted his productivity as a freshman at USC, averaging 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists, and 19 minutes a game. USC coach Andy Enfield recently left for SMU and the Trojans hired Arkansas's Eric Musselman. This was on Thursday. Okay, Stephen A, big perk. Interesting. Uh, perk, I'll start with you. What's your reaction to Bronny James leaving? Why not? Why not? You should, uh, it's the right move. I mean, when you look at Bronny, I always said that I don't believe Bronny is built for college. I think he will have, he will be a hell of a pro. I'm not saying that he's going to be his dad. I'm not saying that he's going to have an all-star caliber career for as a pro, but he will have a, a great pro career. And when you think about in the new day, like he's been around pros all his life. Hell, his dad is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, a basketball player to ever touch foot on the basketball court. So I actually love this from Bronny James entering the draft, testing the waters, working out in front of NBA scouts and GMs to showcase what he's capable of doing because he's ready right now. And I don't want everybody to look at what he did uh, for us playing with uh, USC. I want, like, with his game and the way he's able to stretch the floor, his IQ of the game of basketball, his athleticism, the way that he defends on the perimeter. And, I mean, I, I just think it was the right move, Molly, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I, don't know th I don't know that. Um, I'm not saying it isn't, um, uh, Perk. I've made it. I, I've made I've done it purposefully. I have not watched. I didn't watch him play in high school. Mm -hmm. All I've ever seen of him was highlights because I knew that the world was going to be incredibly cruel and unfair to him and judging him with an extra level of scrutiny that I don't believe he deserves. Um, his family obviously is wonderful. Um, no matter what critique we want to give to LeBron, and I certainly ain't shy about doing it, one thing I will never deny is what a good man he is, what a great father he is, what a great mm -hmm. family man he is, and how much he loves his children. And, and, how, and how supportive he has been for Bronny James. And I don't say this in any kind of negative way, just, being, just, just pointing to reality. Bronny James entering the NBA, you know, you know putting himself to enter the NBA draft mm -hmm. with the numbers that he has, that he produced at USC, combined with his questionable health for the moment, inevitably... What that means is that you're doing this because you're Bronny James. You're the son of LeBron James, and that's going to warrant consideration. What they have to understand is that that in and of itself is going to invite the exact thing I don't want for him. And that's that extra layer of scrutiny. Because how much of a chance are people really going to give him in terms of judging him accurately? You know basketball, Perk. You played it. You're a champion. And you know how to dissect it in a way where you can look at his IQ, you can look at his athleticism, his defensive prowess, and you can say, hey, that, that's fine. They're going to look at the numbers less than five points per game. He, you know, he only scored in double digits mm -hmm. three times in the 25 games he played, stuff like that. And they're going to look at him being LeBron James' son. And because of the attention that LeBron assisted in bringing to him, that makes it even that much more tougher. And I, and I say that, I swear to you, I'm being sensitive to this. I don't want anybody to misconstrue what I'm trying to say. LeBron had the best of intentions with his son. And yeah. I'm not saying he did anything purposefully wrong in any way. I'm just saying because he is who he is, and he was on camera saying he wants to play in the NBA with his son, and he was on camera saying, and he's said on numerous occasions that he'd be willing to stay in the NBA and go somewhere else other than where he's at if it meant wearing the same uniform as his son. Those things are the kind of things that are going to elevate the scrutiny coming in Bronny James' way, and that's why I don't know, Perk, if the best thing for him might have been, you know what? Get another season under your belt, 
when you're fully healthy, fully recovered from all that you've endured, showcase those skill sets that the Kendrick Perkins of the world and others have talked about, and boom. But he could still do it because just because you're entering the draft, he's also going to be in the transfer portal. It doesn't mean that he can't play yeah. basketball next season. So right. you are right about that. I'm just saying in the end, I'd like to see him do something on a collegiate level, but, for my <clears throat> personal opinion. But but that's say, let me say this. Yeah. If if Bronny James does get criticized, so what? What other player, what player you've known to play the game of basketball that haven't received criticism? It's part of it. He's not exempt from that. Now I will say this. LeBron did an interview, post-game interview, a couple of nights ago where he said yeah. Bronny is his own man. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Bron, well, I'm gonna hold you hold you to your word on that. Let him be his own man. Let him start speaking to the media. Let him start having his own voice. Since he's jumping off the porch, don't be – I'm not telling him not to be a father, but let Bronny be Bronny and let him be his own man because we have seen times where Bron have tweeted out and said things along the lines of Bronny is better than half of uh, some of the guys in the NBA. Okay, so if you're setting a bar for him – then they're going. To, a lot of people are going to be watching. At the end of the day, I just want Bronny to have his own journey, his own lane, until he finds his exit. We don't don't expect him to live up to uh, what Bron has well, done. Let this man have his own journey. But again, Bron, Bron, LeBron, I'm going to hold you to your word of letting Bronny be his own got, man. We got to go, but let's be clear: because of LeBron James. He's not going to be allowed to have his own journey. It's going to be a journey influenced by LeBron to some degree, whether it be negatively or positively. And that's not LeBron's wasn't his intent. So I'm not trying to criticize him. I'm just talking about the reality.